హలో గైస్ ఫార్చునేట్లీ ద యురేనియం ఇష్యూ ఇన్ ద తెలుగు స్టేట్స్ కేమ్ టు అన్ ఎండ్ ఆన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ సెప్టెంబర్ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ ద చీఫ్ మినిస్టర్ ఆఫ్ ద తెలంగాణ స్టేట్ అనౌన్స్డ్ ఇన్ ద అసెంబ్లీ దట్ దే ఆర్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు గివ్ ఎనీ పర్మిషన్స్ ఫర్ యురేనియం మైనింగ్ ఇన్ ద స్టేట్ యురేనియం తవ్వకాలకు సంబంధించి తెలంగాణ రాష్ట్రం ఏర్పడిన తర్వాత ఎవరకు ఎటువంటి పర్మిషన్ ఇవ్వలేదు భవిష్యత్తులో ఇచ్చే ఆలోచన కూడా లేదు ఐ హ్యావ్ బీన్ అబ్జర్వింగ్ ద ప్రొటెస్ట్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ హ్యాపీనింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద లాస్ట్ వన్ మంత్ and i found two things surprising in this whole event so i would like to share few things that everyone have to know about this particular issue amd atomic mineral directorate and uci uranium corporation of india are the two different organizations which are operated by the central government of india the work of amd is to explore for uranium mines all over the country and when uranium is found uranium corporation of india will come into action for mining process so the process of exploration will be like they will first dig bore wells and they will check the soil samples for availability quality and quantity of the mineral so this amd doesn't need any permissions from the state government if they want to explore in non forest areas but if they want to explore in explore in any forest areas they need permission from the state wildlife board for which chief minister of the state will be the chairperson actually many people are thinking that this issue in telugu states started one month uh, ago this is false actually this issue started in 1980 and from then social activists and the tribals are opposing this because amd found uranium mines under nallamala forests and if they want to mine the uranium from the nallamala forest 21000 acres of forest must be cleared and they also found uranium reserves in the areas of nalgonda uh, near nagarjun sagar reservoir and in the area of amrabad tiger reserve so these places are basically very close to krishna river and nallamala forest so if mining happens in this particular place that's really a huge loss not only for the people but also for the nature so from the year 1980 this issue went on for many decades and recently this issue grabbed everyone's attention because in the year 2017 in the month of april uranium corporation of india wrote a letter to the forest department of telangana state asking permission for mining in nallamala forest this actually means that silently governments gave permission for amd to explore in nallamala forest so they have done all the exploration process they confirmed that uranium uranium can be mined there so directly uranium corporation wrote a letter to the state government of telangana so this is how actually the protest became serious people felt that government cheated them basically so this is a harm for people for the tribals called chenchu who live in nallamala forests and river krishna uh, which is a main water source for farmers in both the telugu states so now coming uh, so now coming to the problems with uranium mining everyone knows that uranium is actually a radioactive metal which is a very powerful one uh, uranium is basically a fuel for nuclear reactors we can generate a lot of power using uranium metal and with the help of uranium metal we can actually make very powerful weaponry for the country uh, for example uh the major component the main component in the atom bomb is actually uranium metal that's how powerful it is uranium can really create a lot of disasters if it's not handled with care so we have some live examples uh to explain the disasters there is a village called tummalapalli in kadapa district of andhra pradesh where there is a mine of uranium and also there is a processing unit so people around that place are facing serious health disorders and issues like kidney failure lungs failure and even underground waters are getting polluted and children are born with genetic disorders so these are the serious issues they are facing and governments are still trying to sort it out in some other way and there is another uranium mine in in india uh, it's in jaduguda near jamshedpur Mr Ankush uh, he is a youtuber so he went there to film the uh, film the problem uh, over there and he posted a video in youtube which clearly explains the problems that uranium mine can create so let's have a look at this video first this is what i saw in those villages so this is how it destroys lives around the mine so we must be very happy that this didn't happen in the telugu states as i told you before this issue seriously started one month ago seriously so coming to the two things uh, that really surprised me in this whole event uh, that is everyone everyone knows that there is a lot of issue going on in the telugu states because of this uranium mining issue national media in india didn't 
uh, report any big news about this issue this is really a very serious issue everyone clearly knows that people will face a lot of problems because of the mining that to destroying a forest is really a very big issue News from Telangana now. Actor and Janasena leader Pavan Kalyan has lent his support to the protesters in the Nagar Kunu district of Telangana against the proposed uranium mining in the Nallamalla forest area. And the and the other thing is, no politician seriously spoke about this. Pavan Kalyan is the first politician to speak about this issue, and after Pavan Kalyan, many politicians joined them. And media channels uh, took this seriously. After the tweets of the South Indian film stars uh, Vijay Devarakonda and Anasuya Bharadwaj, they tweeted against this issue, and suddenly media started telling a lot about this repeatedly, and then it grabbed some attention from the people, and people started to protest it in a big way, and then it resulted in the announcement from government confirming that they are not going to give any permissions from for mining. On September 14th, I have collected some data from the YouTube. that is i have just uh, gone through all the youtube videos that are posted regarding the uranium issue both from the media channels and from some other youtube channels also and there are uh, there are 7 to 8 very famous media channels uh, in, in the telugu states which reported the same incident all these videos together got 37834 views so let's make it a round figure and make it 40000 so this is the attention people paid for the uranium issue in the youtube so this actually speaks a lot about the concern people are showing towards the issues this is a serious harm to the nature i was just really disappointed uh, to know that many people are not even caring about no, what's going around them and the lesson that i have learned is like democracy and a mobile phone in your hand are very powerful things for example to to tell about democracy the power of democracy for example if i complain about a leaking drainage in my colony no one literally pays any attention for that if a 10000 people at a time complains about the same drainage in the same colony chief minister will come to visit that drainage for sure so number matters in democracy and when you have a smartphone in your hand you are nothing less than any media channel in the country you can just report anything so when the issue is about nature every one of us must be concerned enough from last 200 years in the name of industrial revolution we have done a lot of destruction so at least now we we are, we are empowered with democracy and a smartphone internet and everything so let's make use of these things that's all i wanted to say and i'll just leave the conclusion for you you just decide what action you want to take when when you face this kind of issue again that's all for today see you bye